Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. So today I want to talk about Lantus. So Lantus is a basal long-acting insulin. Um, the way that it works is it's usually injected uh, once a day over a 24-hour period and um, it's, it's injected into the fat tissue and what occurs is insulin is released uh, slowly over a 24-hour period um, to kind of keep um, blood glucose levels lower. Um, the, way, the way that insulin works is it takes sugar um, that's in the blood and it sends that either to fat tissue. That's why weight gain can be a side effect because it sends sugar into, into fat tissue. It sends sugar into muscle tissue as glycogen and into the liver tissue as well as stopping or slowing down production of sugar in the liver. Um, so that's basically how it works. So Lance is given once a day and usually people will be taking something else to control uh, blood glucose levels around meal times. So often they'll be on like a mealtime insulin plus a basal insulin like Lantus. And um, really the biggest side effect or the most concerning side effect um, with any insulin is called hypoglycemia. So hypoglycemia can occur um, because basically the way that insulin works is it just lowers blood glucose. Unfortunately, blood glucose can't go too low or you can get side effects. Um, if it goes too low, it, you can even get a coma or death. So uh, it's super important to be aware of hypoglycemia. That's why people have to test their blood sugar regularly to kind of um, understand how their body reacts to the, the medication. So um, hypoglycemia, Mild hypoglycemia is characterized by dizziness, sweating, pale skin, uh, thirst, hunger, um, irritability. Um, from that, if it gets worse, uh, bizarre behavior, um, and coma, and death at the um, at the really at the lower uh, glu blood glucose level. So it is very serious. Everybody who's on any insulin should know about it. Um, so Lantus is uh, usually given in a pen and of course the pen needle tips are sold separately. Um, sometimes uh, Lantus is administered in from a vial as well. So sometimes hypoglycemia can occur because people take the wrong drug um, or they take too much of a drug. Um, for instance, you could see if somebody took their mealtime insulin um, instead of their basal insulin, that could be an issue and that could cause hypoglycemia. People usually treat hypoglycemia by ingesting more, um, more sugar, um, for instance, oral glucose tablets, or if it's an emergency uh, glucagon injection. Um, but um, definitely hypoglycemia is something everybody should be aware about. Um, another big issue with insulin is that it decreases uh, potassium in the blood. So low blood potassium is serious because your muscles need potassium to contract and your heart's like a big muscle and so you need potassium to pump blood and um, that's why the doctors will look at uh, your your potassium and make sure it doesn't get too low and they'll often prescribe a potassium a prescription potassium supplement to kind of counteract that um, uh, decrease in potassium. So insulin can cause weight gain, and the way that it does that is it takes that sugar and puts it into the fat tissue, and voila, um, there's more fat there, and then that leads to uh, weight gain. Another thing that it does is it causes fluid retention. So your body can take on more water as a result of insulin, and if, uh, if somebody has um, heart failure, the heart failure can become worse, or it can even potentiate heart failure, especially if it's given with uh, drugs called TZDs. These are like Avandia or um, Actos and um, that can make uh, the fluid retention even worse and the heart failure even worse. So that is something that is um, very serious. Lantus and most insulins ca cause, cause something called immunogenicity and that's when the blood develops antibodies to the, uh, to the insulin and will actually knock it out. And it's kind of a, a weird side effect that could be costly. You can imagine you're spending all this money on this medication and your body is just eating it up and destroying it instead of it being put to use. 
in your body. So um, Lantus, they didn't really study the severity of the immunogenicity. They just mentioned that it was known that insulins can do that. Um, there's another insulin, insulin glargine product called Basaglar. They actually did study it and they found that in over 40% of patients they had antibodies to the medication. So people have been known to share insulin back and forth and that's, um, that can cause uh, HIV or hepatitis. So it's really important not to share insulin. Um, even, if, even if the pen needle is switched, the blood can get in the little reservoir in the pen and it, or in the vial and that can actually um, transmit blood diseases uh, back and forth. So that's not good. Um, so just, just to kind of recap, um, Atlantis is a long-acting insulin. It acts over 24 hours to um, provide a pretty consistent release of insulin to counteract um, high blood higher blood sugars. Um, you know, insulins basically act by taking sugar in the blood and putting it into the um, peripheral tissues. So I hope you guys found this interesting. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please like the video and uh, please subscribe. It would be great to have you as a subscriber. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks a lot.